Hello. Good evening. How are you? I'm fine. And you? Very well. Ready here for the last class of this um, level, let's say. <laughs> sí, hoy es finish. <laughs> <laughs> ¿Qué tal? ¿Cómo está? ¿Ya terminó la plataforma? Sí, hoy sí ya la terminé. Very Por good. completo, 100%. Gracias. ¿Ya tiene el certificado? Sí. Ya lo guardé, aunque no lo he ido a imprimir todavía. That's good. Hay que tenerlo por ahí, pues por cualquier cosa, ¿verdad? hay que imprimirlo también. Okay. That's good. Yeah. <laughs> uh, teacher, una pregunta. Dígame. Y para aprenderse así los diferentes tiempos, ¿habrán algunos otros ejercicios? Mira, hay muchos ejercicios. Quizá lo primero que tiene que ser, son varias cosas. Primero hay que aprenderse las reglas gramaticales, que es como cuando se utiliza, eh, cómo cambia el verbo, qué auxiliar lleva, cómo es la negativa, la afirmativa. Y luego practicar escrito, así como los links que le mandé, que es como que irse aprendiéndolos y cuando ya no se equivoque, hay que empezar a escribir párrafos o también se puede tratar de practicar con otra persona. Entonces es así, ¿verdad? Primero entender... Luego, digamos, ver la parte escrita, porque escrito es un poco más fácil. Uno ve la oración, el párrafo, lo que sea, lo entiende y ya sabe qué es lo que va a utilizar. Y hablado es un poco más difícil porque pues hay que, hay que pensar y, y hablar al mismo tiempo. Y directamente, los que más se utilizan es el simple present, el present progresivo y el present imperfecto. Y el, ah, y el pas simple. Sí, quizá ese que regale el futuro, el futuro con will y going to, que es bien fácil. Y de ahí sería la base, ¿verdad? De ahí hay otras cosas, hay otras situaciones que sí nos sirven. Está viendo el como el pasado participio, algo así en internet, pero es enorme, mucho. Es sí. que el part pasado participio es el verbo, solo el verbo. Por ejemplo, uh -huh. cuando yo digo, uh, she has gone to the beach, allí el tiempo de toda la oración es el presente perfecto, pero el verbo uh -huh. está en pasado participio. Oh, yeah. No es lo Está mismo bien. el tiempo entero de una oración que el, la conjugación de un verbo. El verbo pasado participio, toda la oración o todo el párrafo o la idea sería en presente perfecto. Oh, yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. Vamos a esperar solo un par de minutos. Hello, okay. Flor, how are you? Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Did you I'm finish fine. the class? I'm fine. And you? Very the last well. class. Yeah, today is the last class. This is the very end. Goodbye, my friend. Hello, good evening, it is. Hello, welcome, good evening. Okay, we are going to start the last class of this level. Um, well, of course, the first thing that we are going to do is uh, to check the platform. Okay, so we're going today to finish checking in general the platform. As I understand, everybody has finished, but just in case, we're going to check some stuff. So um, this is the last part, that is the part five. Uh, it says in this session we will learn about present perfect. Present perfect is put in practice during the conversation. And uh, on the next one is going to be a little video about a little explanation. Um, remember, as I was telling Brenda today, that the tense of the of the whole thing is present perfect. Have you being in New Orleans long, that is 
present perfect. Only the verb being, the verb is in past participle. So it's kind of different, okay? Remember that part. Then on the next one, uh, okay. Um, Brenda, uh, could you please help me reading this adjective? Uh, in this section, we will study in the present perfect. We are really and just ask and ask a question. Usually, permit me. Uh, no, ask a question using the perfect perfect. Present perfect with regular and irregular past participle. Very good. So in this one, we were checking about already and yet. Those are like opposite, right? Already is when the action is done and yet is when it's not yet done, right? Um, let's see the next one. Uh, and this is like the video, right? For you to understand already and yet. That is... Is piece of cake. Then we move on to the knowledge check, uh, and here we just needed to to choose the correct answer. So, for example, have you done right max exercise this week? Um, any questions with this exercise? while no question teacher not teacher yeah very good okay so let's move on and on this one it says um floor could you please help me reading this adjective okay teacher in this section a conversation would be listening to in order to practice the present perfect and simple past okay so this was like a, a conversation um, that we have just to practice and uh, we have actually I have that is like the little conversation like um, let's practice a little bit uh, Jenny you are going to be Mandy and I'm going to be Peter so let's see how it goes I'm okay. sorry I'm late have you been here long no only for a few minutes have you chosen a restaurant yet I can decide, have you ever eaten Moroccan food? No, I haven't. Is it good? It's delicious. I've had it several times. Second times. Okay. Or how about Thai food? Have you ever had green curry? Actually, I have I uh, lived in Thailand as a Teenager, I eat, ate, pardon, I ate it a lot of there. I didn't know that. How long did you live there? I lived there for two years. Very good, perfect. So this is a little conversation that is about experiences. As you can see, the present perfect is mostly for experiences. Uh, so we are not going to do that by now. I'll continue was just an example. Uh, let's see, Carlos, could you please help me reading this adjective? Okay, teacher, good evening. Good evening. In this lesson, participants will learn when to use present perfect. Um, I don't Versus. know, BS? Versus. Versus simple past. That is it. So in this one, it's like compare present perfect and simple past. We are going to check into that also a review today. And here is like the little a video about that one, right? So we use this in this situation and then this other in the other situation. After this a little video, we had a um, knowledge check. Again, it was just for you to choose the correct um, option. Any questions about this exercise? No question, teacher. Very good. Uh, let's see. Have you ever gone to a karaoke bar? Anybody? Hey. 
No, never? Never. Okay. Maybe we could do that as an activity in English. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, I guess there is no other vocabulary here. Let's see. Oh, in karaoke in my house, no, only. <laughs> yeah, it's better, right? <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> okay. Um, Gerardo, could you please help me reading this uh, adjective? To audio, not the expressions. Okay, yes, in this session, the use of foreign scenes will be explained throughout an audio. Know the expressions throughout. Do you know what is throughout? No, teacher. A través de. Okay. Very good. And then uh, the next one is for instance, that is like the little video on the explanation on that one. Um, after this one, of course, there is a knowledge check uh, for you to select an option. Any question about this uh, exercise? No, teacher. Very good. Okay, the next one. Uh, let's see. Uh, Jonathan, could you please help me reading this uh, adjective? In this session, we will work on pronunciation in order to sound natural by linking final T and D sounds in verse with the vowels that follow. Okay, this is important because it was the pronunciation. Um, you are going to learn that just by practicing. Just practice and you are going to be able to use them. Also, it's very good for you to listen. Uh, whenever you are listening the news or anything in, in English, you can try to identify that one, the pronunciation on, on the simple pass, on the ED words. After this one, uh, we have actually the the video for this one, right? That is the explanation on the sounds. Um, and then we arrive directly to the final test, right? The first one was listening. So any questions about this part? No questions. No questions. Okay, after that one, we have to complete the conversations. And this one it says, complete the conversations, choose the present perfect of the verbs given in brackets. I know that sometimes this part is difficult because when you type something, if there is a space or a period, sometimes it's, it's giving you an incorrect answer. Do you have any question about this? Question teacher. No, teacher. no, no, teacher. Good, good. Then we have part C that is um, to read the following sentences and choose the correct word. I guess this was a little bit easy. Any question about this? No. Do you know what is an appointment? What is an appointment? An appointment, I don't know, teacher. It's como una cita. Uh, when cita. you got cita. Yeah. But okay. it's like a formal. Because mm -hmm. appointment is when you go to the doctor, when you have an appointment uh, for a job interview or things like that. So that is an appointment. Oh. Uh, cita, uh, um, professional uh, or the work? A work? Yeah, it's a formal. Uh, a formal situation so for example mm. job an interview uh, the doctor with your lawyer with the government something like that is an appointment okay teacher. thanks good good okay after this one we had um, uh, the unscrambled sentences that is not correct there. Um, do you remember what is gorgeous yes difficult 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 mm, 
No. No, 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 teacher. Lo estoy diciendo un poquito difícil. Number three, no pude hacer. No la pude hacer. Ah, uh, really? Okay, how is going to be number three, everybody? A mí no me dio correcto la tres. Lo escribí de una y me fue. Really? <laughs> Okay, it's going to Lo que be pasa es que hoy no es octavo. Ajá, hay una palabra incorrecta de eight y tiene que ser eight. Tiene que leer. Exacto, esa está uh -huh. incorrecta, es height, que es altura. Height. Uh -huh, ok. Entonces, mm. si ustedes cambian esa palabra, ya les da correcto, ¿verdad? Pero sí. igual lo vamos a reportar para que las ah, pues, más generaciones... Que lo pongan bueno, teacher. Sí, por supuesto, <ríe> ya le vamos a decir. <ríe> ok. Okay, I guess that was the. Por eso no la pude hacer, teacher. Yeah, <laughs> but like it was not your fault. Uh, yeah. <laughs> okay, the last part is reading. Awesome. Um, yeah, this was kind of easy as well. So you have to choose the options according to that one, and that's it. That is the the end of uh, at least the platform. Okay. Teacher. Yes, go ahead. Solo en, en lo último, ¿en qué parte dice, por ejemplo, eh, eh, que en, en el texto que habla donde decía que eh, sin a mail, por ejemplo, y la otra de Clotes, no, uh, de las cuatro nada más, que eran las cuatro, pero uh, yo no, no leo en qué momento dice que puede ser la, la número, que, que es de las opciones, que dice Clotes, no sé qué. Ok, you're talking about, let's see. Okay. Wash and dry clothes. Yeah, yeah, eso, yes. Okay. No veo en qué momento habla de eso. No lo, le, no lo logré leer. Okay, let me then just look for that one. Uh, okay, the thing is that I'm going to show you the, the screen. Okay. This is the thing. Uh, mm -hmm. I'm going to read all the things so you can check pronunciation and also we'll look for the answer. It says, hi Nina, guess what? I moved into my new apartment yesterday. I really like my new roommates. I also like the neighborhood. There are lots of different restaurants here. Last night, I ate a Vietnamese restaurant just around the corner. The food was delicious and I want to try a new Brazilian restaurant near here. For breakfast this morning, I came to this great coffee shop across from my apartment. Actually, it's an internet cafe, so I'm emailing you now. It's a really convenient neighborhood. Here is their answer. There is a laundromat yeah. on our street. So a laundromat is a place in the U.S. where you can go and wash your, uh, your clothes. Yeah. So, la otro, la otro más, what, is, what is it in Spanish? A laundromat. Yeah, that is, that is laundromat. So, es una lavandería. So, she can, mm. she can wash and dry her clothes. Sometimes, in the readings, you are not going to find exactly the answer. Mm -hmm. So, it's like a trick for you to, to check if you really understood, right? Okay. That happens a lot. Okay. Mm -hmm. But this is a good exercise. I mean, this it says there's a laundromat on your street and there are some interesting stores too. One store sells lots of amazing CDs and DVDs and books from all over the world. And my roommates told me there's a dance club just two blocks away. I want to go dancing every weekend. Come visit, Sarah. Yeah. It's very easy. But what we can do also is we can read it together. Mm -hmm. Okay? I'm going to say and you are going to repeat and then we're going to check maybe two or three words that are new. Or maybe not new, but just to be sure, okay? okay? Everybody, please repeat. Hi, Nina. Hi, Nina. Hi, Nina. Guess what? Guess what? Guess what? Guess what? I moved into my new apartment yesterday. I moved into my new apartment yesterday. I really like my new roommates. I really, I really like, like my, my new roommates. Roommates. I also like the neighborhood. I, I also, also like, like, the like the neighborhood. There are lots of different restaurants here. There, there are, are lots, lots of lots different of restaurants, restaurants here. here. Last night I ate at Vietnamese restaurant. 
Last night, just around the corner. Just, just around, around the corner. corner. The food was delicious. The food, the was, food delicious. was delicious. And I want to try a new Brazilian restaurant near here. For breakfast this morning, for, for breakfast, breakfast, breakfast this morning, 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 I came to this great coffee shop across from my apartment. I came to this great coffee shop across, from, across, from, across from, my apartment. from my apartment. Apartment. Actually, it's an internet cafe. Actually, Actually it's, it's an internet, internet cafe. cafe. So I'm emailing you now. So, so I am an emailing, emailing you now. now. It's a really convenient neighborhood. It's a it's really, really convenient, convenient neighborhood. neighborhood. There's a laundromat on our street. There's a laundromat on our street. And there are some interesting stores too. And, and there are some, and there are some, some interesting stores too. Stores too. Stores too. Mm. One store sells lots of amazing CDs, DVDs, and books from all over the world. One store sells lots of Amazon CDs One and DVDs and books from One store all over the world. One store sells lots of amazing CDs, amazing DVDs. CDs, DVDs, and books. And my roommates told me there's a dance club just two blocks away. I want to go dancing every weekend. I want to dance every weekend. Come visit, Sarah. Come and 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 visit, Sarah. Good. So uh, maybe the first that I'm thinking of is roommate. What is a roommate? Compañero de habitación, algo así. Very good. So they are living together, right? Uh, yes. Let's see what else. Around the corner, what is that? Alrededor de la esquina. A la esquina. A la vuelta. A la vuelta de la esquina. Oh. Good, good. Let's see. Here in this situation, try. is like probar comida. You can mm. also use try as probar ropa. I will try this shirt. And you can also use try como probar de tratar e intentar hacer algo. I tried to play football yesterday, for example. So everything is valid, okay? Um, let's see. Coffee shop. Uh, across from. Do you remember what is across from? In front. In front. Cruzando. Cruzando. No. Uh, very good. In front. And then in front, it says. No. Uh, well, laundromat. What was laundromat? Lavandería. Lavandería. Good, good. Uh, let's see. From all over the world. What is that? De, de todo el lado del mundo. De todo el mundo. Very good. Uh, let's see. What is a block? Two blocks away, it says. Cuadras. Cuadras. And that is it. I guess we don't have any question. But do you have any other question about this? No question. Very good. Okay, we're going to stop and then finish the platform by now. Let's hope on Monday we can go back into the next double. Okay, we're going to continue. I have another little reading that we're going to, to do right now. Um, I'm going to make this a little bit bigger. Okay, so this is another um, reading that we're going to try today. Interesting thing about this one is that we're going to mix the simple present and the present continues. Okay. Do you remember when do we use the simple present tense? ING. Simple present. The simple present tense. Uh, 
Al one. verbo se le agrega la S. That is good. Es más short. Okay. Pero cuando utilizamos el presente simple, ¿en qué situaciones? And routines, uh, um, habits. Very good. Schedule. Schedule, timetables, nice. And on the other hand, we use the simple present, I mean the present progressive or present continuous for uh -huh. describe action happening now. Happening now. Maybe near future, right? Plans. Uh, sometimes annoying things, right? Okay, so, but we're going to uh, repeat. Everybody, please repeat. Okay. Brian is a doctor. Brian is a doctor. Brian is a doctor. He looks after sick people. He looks after, he after, looks sick, after people. sick people. He usually gets up at six o'clock. He usually gets up at six o'clock. Today he is late. Today, Today, he, is is late. Today he is late. It is six thirty and he is still in bed. It is 6.30 and he is still in bed. He usually goes to work by train. He, he usually, usually goes, goes to, work to, work by train. to work by train. But today he is driving to work. But today, but today he's he is driving, driving to, work. to work. He arrives at work at 6.30 every morning. He arrives, he arrives at work, work at 6.30 every morning. Every morning. But it is 7.30 now and he is still driving. But it but, is, but it is 7.30 now, now and he is and still, he driving. Is still driving. driving. It's 12 o'clock now. It's 12 o'clock now. He always has his lunch at 12. He always has he his lunch at 12. At 12. At 12. But today he isn't having lunch at 12. But, but today, but today he, is he, is he is not having lunch at 12. He is looking after his sick patients. He is he looking, is looking after, after his sick patients. Patient. It is half past seven now. It is, it is half, half, half past, past seven, seven now. now. Brian is watching TV. Brian, Brian is, watching is watching TV. TV. He usually watches TV at half past seven. He usually watches TV at half past seven. Because his favorite program starts at half past seven. Because his favorite program starts at half past seven. Brian has his dinner at 8.30 every day. And he is having dinner now. And, and he, he is having, having dinner, dinner, now. Dinner, now. Having dinner now. It is 24 now. It is, it is 24, 24, now. 24 now. Brian is going to bed. Brian, Brian is going, to, going bed. To, bed. to bed. He always goes to bed at 24. He always, he always to bed, goes to bed, to bed at, at 24. 24. Nice. So now we're going to check some vocabulary. Uh, this one is interesting. He looks after sick people. What do you understand there? Well, be gente enferma. Something like that. Cuando hablamos de un doctor, es lo que decimos, ¿verdad? Él ve esta gente que está enferma. Ver. En este caso es como cuidar. Look after. These two words together is like take care, cuidar. So you can say look after. Uh, my mom looks after me. Mi mamá me cuida. Okay? Okay. Good. Then it says gets up at six o'clock. Um, late. Still, what is still? Todavía. O aún. Aún. Good. Nice. Uh, driving to work. Let's see. Still driving. He always has lunch. Um, again, he says he is looking after 
his sick patient. So he's taking care of his patient. Then he says it's half past seven now. What is that? Hasta las siete. Las siete y media. Siete y media. Oh, past seven. Because it's half. Half. Ah, oh, la, la mitad. Medio. Medio. Okay. Then he says he uses the watches. Uh -huh. I don't think we have any other word. Do you have any other question about this? No questions. Mm -hmm. This paragraph is interesting because it's talking about activities and uh, we're using simple past, I mean simple present and present progressive together. You can see that it's possible, right? You can speak about or describe a routine and also describe something that is happening right now at the very moment or today, throughout the day. So that is very interesting. Okay, so we're going to read now. Uh, let's see. Carlos, please read. Vamos a tratar de leer la mitad del párrafo. Vamos a leer hasta... De ver. Um, I guess... Around here. Does it read, teacher, párrafo o, o, o adecuado a, a, a mí? No, el párrafo vamos a leer. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. it's practicing the reading. Vamos a leer hasta acá, mire, donde dice, it is 12 o'clock now. Y la siguiente okay. persona va a leer desde aquí hasta el final. Ok, teacher. Go, go ahead. Sir. Yeah, please. Ok. Brian is a doctor. He looks after sick people. He usually get up at seven o'clock. Sorry, sorry, six o'clock. Today he is late. It is six thirty, and he is still in bed. He usually goes to work by train, but today he is driving to work. Driving. Driving to work. He arrived at work at. 6 30 every morning, but it, it is 7 30 now, and he is still driving. It's 12 o'clock now. Good, thank you. Gerardo, please continue. He always has his lunch at 12, but today he isn't still driving. Having lunch. Having lunch. He isn't having lunch at 12. He is looking after his six patients. Patients, patients. It is half past seven now. Brian is watching TV. He usually watches TV at half past seven because his favorite program starts at half past seven. Brian has his dinner at 8.30 every day and he is having dinner now. It is 24. Now Brian is going to bed. He always goes to bed at 27, 24, my bad. Okay, don't worry, that's good. 24, do you know what that is, right? That is midnight, very late, but it's military time. Jenny, you're mm -hmm. gonna start. Brian is a doctor. He looks after sick people. He usually gets up at six o'clock. Today he is late. It, it is 6.30 and he is still in bed. He usually goes to work by train, but today he is driving to work. He arrives at work at 6.30 every morning, but it is 7.30 now and he is still driving it. 12 o'clock now. Perfect. Now it's going to continue. Let's see. Francisco. Okay, teacher. Oh. 
No, permita, mi teacher. Que of course. Veo la pantalla, no sé qué dice. All right, don't worry. Me da la pantalla, teacher. Ok, don't worry. Uh, usted seguiría el siguiente mientras se arregla la situación. Y en uh, okay. it's going to continue, Jonathan. Ok, uh, he always has his lunch at 12, but today he isn't having lunch at 12. He's looking after his sick patients. He, it is half past seven now. Brain is watching TV. He usually. He usually watches TV at half past seven because his favorite program starts at half past seven. <laughs> Brian has his dinner at 8.30 every day and he is having dinner down. It is 24. Now Brian is going to bed. He always goes to bed at 24. Very good, perfect. Uh, Francisco, are you able to read? Yeah, I'm ready. Okay, please do. Brian is a doctor. He looks after sick people. He usually gets up at six o'clock. Today he is late. He did 6.30 and he is still in bed. He usually goes to work by train, but today he is driving to work. He arrives at work at 6.30 every morning but it is 7.30 now, and he is still driving. It's 12 o'clock now. Okay, now it's going to, thank you. Uh, it's going to continue floor. He always has his lunch at 12, but today he isn't having lunch at 12. He is looking after his sick passion. It is half past seven now. Brian is watching TV. He usually watches TV at, at half past seven because his favorite program starts at half past seven. Brian has his dinner at 8.30 every day and he is having dinner now. It is uh, 24. Now Brian is going to bed and he always is going to be at 24th. Very good, thank you. Brenda, you're gonna start. Okay, Brian is a doctor. He looks after skin people. He usually he cook at six o'clock. Today he is like, he is Uh, six thirty. Uh, he is uh, still in bed. He usually goes to work um, by train. But today he he is trying to work. He actually a work six thirty every morning. But is but it is seven thirty. No. Uh, yeah. He is a steel driver, he, uh, driver at 12 o'clock now. Okay, thank you. Now it's going to continue. Um, it is. Okay. He always has his lunch at 12, but today he is not having lunch at 12. He is looking after his sick patients. 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 It is half past seven now. Brian is watching TV. He usually watches TV. It's half past seven because his poverty program starts at Half past seven. Brian has his dinner at 8.30 every day and he is having dinner 
24. Now, Brian is going to bed. Uh, bed. He always goes to bed at uh, 24. Very good. Thank you very much. Marcela, you're going to start. Brian is a doctor. He looks after sick people. He usually gets up at 6 o'clock. Today, he is late. It is 6.30 and he is still in bed. He usually goes to work by train, but today he is driving to work. He arrives at work at 6.30 every morning, but it is 7.30 now, and he is still driving. It's 12 o'clock now. Perfect. Thank you. Uh, Cory, you are going to finish. Okay. Brian is a doctor. He looks at their sick people. He usually gets up at say, six o'clock. Today, if he's late, it is six thirty, and he is still in bed. He usually goes to work by train, but today he is driving to work. He arrives at work at 6.30 every morning, but it is 7.30. It is 7.30 now, and he's still driving. It's 12 o'clock now. He always has his lunch at 12, but today he isn't having lunch at 12. He's looking after his sick patients. It is half past seven now. Brian is watching TV. He usually watches TV at half past seven because his favorite program starts at half past seven. Brian has his dinner at 8.30 every day and he's having dinner now. It is 24 now, Brian is going to bed. He's always, he always goes to bed at 24. Very good, thank you very much. Okay. Okay. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> you did it very well. Okay, creo que todos pasamos, ¿verdad? Um, Iris también leyó, ¿verdad? Okay. Okay, so um, just to finish this activity, uh, there is a little exercise. Number one, what does Brian do? He is He's a doctor. He is a doctor. What time yeah. does he usually get up? 6.30. 6 o'clock. At 6, six o'clock. At 6 o'clock. Okay. And how does he usually go to work? 6 o'clock. Uh, how? 6.30. Oh. How does he usually go to work? Oh. Uh, 6.30. 6.30. 6 a 30. 6.30. 6.30. 6.30 a.m. But the question number three says how. Can uh -huh. you check on that? No, what time? How uh -huh. does he usually go to work? Uh -huh. Train. By train. That By is the train. answer. By train. By train. Okay. The next one it says, why is he driving to work today? Because he because was late. He get up late. Yeah, because he's late. As you can see, that answer is not in the in the reading. That is something that you have to understand. So you can answer that one. So why is he driving to work today? Because he's late. Number five. What time does he arrive at work every day? At 6.30. 6.30, that's good. And then it says, um, number six, what does he always have his lunch? When? 12. 12 o'clock. Yeah, at 12. And then it says, what is he doing at 12 today? Having lunch? Lunch? Today? Oh, watch TV, no. Watch TV. Watching TV. TV, okay. Uh, well, actually mm -hmm. says he always has his lunch at 12, but today he isn't having lunch at 12. He is? 
looking after, looking after, after, after sick, sick patients. patients. Looking after sick patients. patients. And then he says, why does he usually watch TV at 7.30? Because, because his, his favorite, favorite program, program starts, starts at half past seven. Very good. That is the answer. Because sorry, sorry. his favorite program starts. Yeah, his favorite program starts at half past seven or seven thirty, right? Or at half past seven. Okay. Uh, what time does he go to bed? At twenty-four. Four. At twenty-four. Four. Okay. And then it says, well, that is it, right? That is it. The other one is not that good. Okay, and the, uh, there is an exercise here that is easy, but let me see if you can check. We are going to complete the sentence with simple present or present continuous. So it says, Susan usually. Go to school. Go. Goes. Goes. That is it. Susan usually goes to school by bus. But now she. She's going. She's, She's going. School by train. She's yeah. going. So that is like the two tenses together. Goes and then she is going. Perfect. Okay, just to finish, we're going to practice or remember about the present perfect and the simple past tense. So, remember that the present perfect is used to express unfinished events that started in the past and continue to the present. For example, I have lived in Paris for five years. That means that I still live in Paris. On the other hand, the simple past is used to express finished events, something that is already done. So my son was sick on Monday. So that means that my son isn't sick now. He's already recovered. Then it's used to express finished events in someone's life. If the person is still alive, it's a life experience. For example, he has never traveled by plane. He's alive. And in the other one, it's used to express finished events in someone's life if the person is dead. He traveled a lot by plane. This is very important. Do you understand this part? Si él está vivo todavía y ha hecho o no ha hecho algo, presente perfecto. Si la persona ya no está viva, simple past tense. Porque ya no puede hacerlo. Yes. Okay. Then the other one. Okay. Then the other one is it is used to express finished events that happened in the past and the impact of the event is now continue. We can't reach Paul by phone. Have you seen him? So that is like continuing. On the other hand, it, uh, the simple past is used to express finished events that is not result in the present. For example, he went to cinema two hours ago. That is done, it's finished, and nothing else happened. Then. And the last part, it says that it's used to, uh, with unfinished time words, like this week, today, this year. For example, I have eaten lots of plums today. On the other hand, uh, well, do you know what are plums? Plums. Lumps. Ciruelas. Okay. Lumps. Lumps. And the other one says it is used with Finnish time words yesterday, last week, in 2000. For example, we didn't call him yesterday. So this is just a review. And we have a little practice. This is very easy. I know that you know. A little practice. Yeah, a small one. <laughs> okay, so the first one. I see or I have seen. 
I saw, I, I saw what I have seen. Very I good. saw a great film yesterday. I saw. Very nice because it's yesterday. Uh, it's finished. Yeah. Number two. Ah, that is easy. <laughs> have you ever have you ever bought a bought? cheap laptop? Very good. Cheap. Have have ever... Cheap. Yeah, cheap. I Do you know have... what is cheap? No. Barato. 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 Good. Barato. Yep. Uh, so have you ever bought a cheap laptop? Yeah. Number three. So had the flu last winter. Last had. winter. Had. Very good. Had. So had the flu last winter. Simple past. Number four. A few days ago, we... A few days ago, we drove, drove, or he drove to his uncle. Very good. A few days ago, we drove to his uncle. Drop. Number five. They, uh, they played. They played. They have played. Play. They play. played. They played. Played or something. Um, oh, <laughs> <laughs> play it, play, play it. it. Yeah, I guess play it, it will be <laughs> fitting now. Number six. He ran, that's with my rabbit, ran away. Uh, number six. six. Oh, oh six. <laughs> he, he have, I know, he already. He? Already he already took. took. Mm -hmm. I don't know. He has already taken the bus to get there. Taken. Good. Taken. He has uh, already taken. taken the bus. He has already taken. Good. Number uh, seven. Now it's number seven. seven. Okay. Last week, my rabbit ran away. Run away. Good. Last week, my rabbit ran away. Number um, eight. We we wait. No, no, no. We have, we have, but no. Mm -hmm. pasado, we did a lot. We did. Good. We, we did. did a lot. Because it says uh, last Sunday, it finished. Mm -hmm. Number nine. Have she ever been to India? Has she ever been to India? Good. Number 10. I met him last Monday. I met him last Monday. Mm -hmm. Good. Past. Number 11. She has, has, has not, <laughs> no, has not wake up yet. She has she not. Has she hasn't. Has hasn't. She has Ah, no, while lo mismo es, has not, it has not. Sí, completo. Has not. Has not. Has not. Qué bárbaro. Number 12. I, I have not missed her since last Thursday. I have not. No yet. es eso. I haven't sí. met. I haven't met her since last Thursday. Okay. And uh, what about number 13? Bob slept well last night. Good. Slept. Nine. Slept. Slept. Number 14. I got but a letter, a letter from, from, from her here. today ago. Good. I got. Nice. And the final one, number 15. They have, uh, have. They have they already have. arrived in Germany. They have already mm -hmm. arrived in Germany. Perfect. That is it. Okay. And okay. Uh, well, there is another activity, but we don't have more time for that one. So, uh, before we finish the last class, is there any question? Any? comment anything that you may I want to ask remember that probably probably we hope 
uh, you are going to start the next level this incoming Monday, we hope. Okay? So mm -hmm. please be checking your emails and your uh, WhatsApp. And any question? Anything before we finish? <laughs> okay, but that is not a problem. If you have questions, uh, you have there my my contact and you can ask me anything you want. Not not only today, but also in the future, if you have questions, of course, I can help you uh, with anything, anything but money, money now. Okay. Well, and, <laughs> if you don't have money. Uh, well, my friends, it was a pleasure to be with you this month, uh, helping you with this level. I hope you enjoy it. I really enjoyed to be with you. You are great and you are very good in English. You are improving. Uh, and I hope I can see you later on. If it's not the next module, maybe later on in the other modules, maybe in advance, it would be, it would be fantastic. And um, well, tomorrow vacation. And then I hope you have a wonderful night and also a very good weekend. Okay, Thank teacher. You. Okay, Thank teacher. You. Thank you, teacher. Thank you. It was a pleasure. Thank you too. for all. Thank you for Thank all. You very much. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, teacher. Thank you, teacher. See you all. You, you, you continue. It, it, uh, next, level. Next, next, uh, next level. Next level. Next level. Sorry. <laughs> Thank, thanks. I, 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 <laughs> thanks, for you. Yeah, to be honest with you, I don't know yet. Uh, okay. Sometimes they switch, sometimes they continue. So I don't know. I, okay. I, I don't have an idea. But if, we, if we're together, of course, it will be a pleasure. Okay. Okay, teacher. Okay, teacher. okay my teacher. friend. Good night. Good night. Bye bye. Good night. Bye bye. Good night. 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 Good night.